the truth. This is falsehood. Mm -hmm. Just okay, choose one so and uh, and follow. I mean, in the time of uh, Nuh alayhi salam, uh, Noah, uh, there was only one path. There wasn't it? it was it was on the ark. You get on the ark. Or you don't. But now we've got all these different arcs, you know. Well, seemingly this is the case, but in reality, each one, uh, you know, each people go through different tests that mm. are suitable for their present reality. Mm. Like at the mm. time of Noah, uh, it was uh, one of the tests was either you get on the ark or you don't get on the ark. But mm. the most difficult choice was to get on the ark mm. because Noah was the weakest. He didn't mm. possess the beauties and the attractions mm. of this world, mm. but the disbelievers they possessed all these attractions. So he seemed, oh, uh, uh, those who joined Noah alayhi salam, uh, seemed to be joining the losers mm -hmm. according to the terminology or according to the terms of the, uh, of the people of, of that time. This is why every time he was building the ark, they were making fun of him. Mm -hmm. And they even said to him, Ma illa hum We saw that your followers are the weakest and the lowest uh, segments of our society. Mm -hmm. So why should we follow you? Mm. So that was another test as well. Mm. So each t at each time there are different s there's a different set of tests that we go through. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has wisdoms. Because Allah knows the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us is that the good that we have has to be dug out. Mm. It is dug out with trials. It's just like gold. You don't find gold, you know, lying on the sand mm. and you just go and pick it up. <laughs> you have to you have to dig deep mm. and search for it. And in that, you know, uh, when we dig deep and, and we find gold, then we, we appreciate its value. Yes, and you will be surprised how much goodness, how many talents Allah has put in you when you go through the test. SubhanAllah, but obviously uh, this takes a little bit of work. Now, yeah. in the bigger scheme of things, in terms of uh, the Akhirah, the, the next life, uh, what's the wisdom of the test from that point of view? Yes, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as I said, He created us in a certain format. And this format uh, or according to this format, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put so many talents, potential in us. Mm. And in order for us to bring that up, we have to go through hardships. Mm. So, and uh, the more the person or the more trials a person goes through, the more experienced he becomes. This is apparent and evident in everyday life. You see people around, the people who have been through more, they are the ones who have more experience, generally speaking. And in terms of Akhirah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because if people don't go through trials, well, if Iman or if holding on to Islam, or by holding to Islam, everything would be easy. You would just have the wealth, the beauty of this world. So if there was no test, yeah. we had everything, we had Islam. Yes, you cannot tell, you cannot tell who's the, who are the right people and mm. uh, who are the people of good and who are the people who choose evil mm. because uh, uh, there's no test. Mm. Simply there's no test. Mm -hmm. It's exactly like y you can bring up a similar question. Why don't all the students who go to school just succeed and get their grades? Mm. Why do some people have to, uh, f uh, yeah, have to fail and have to re mm. repeat certain subjects? Why do they have to do them again? It's a test because these people are being prepared to the real life mm. unless they improve themselves and sharpen their skills mm. they won't be qualified they won't be ab able to cope with that life so we're just preparing them Allah is preparing us for paradise Subhanallah. Now, Sheikh, um, that's the, th the theory of it now how does Allah actually test his slaves um, uh, is a very general question but yes. in what way and how sometimes do we think about it in terms of how should we think about the test? Yes, and, 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 and how does Allah test it? Yes, this is a very good question. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests us with two things. As He mm. says in the Quran, He says, mm. Allah tests mm. us with hardship and with ease. SubhanAllah. So everything in this life is a test. Mm. And what we should be thinking about as we go through tests first is the reality of this life. Mm. That this is not our home, we're not staying here forever. Right, okay. So we are going through a test, that's fine. Mm. So, so in that way, when we, when, we, when we look at the test and when we go through this, this, this test that from the wisdom of Allah, then we would look at it in a temporary way. Yes, thank you This is not my final abode. Yeah. Uh, I am, have my own goal, which is, which is in the next life. How does that affect the way we deal with the test? What happens with people who go through a test and they get stuck there, they don't have, is that their time horizon, their belief in the last day shrinks. Mm. So their time horizon 
as well diminishes so they become some sort of stuck within a very short time frame mm. so they see as if this test is going to uh, to devour the whole life so they think that's my life mm. it's all about misery it's all about hardship so they become they fall in depression mm -hmm. they fall in misery and they make it difficult for themselves and of course they're also looking at around what everyone else has got and what perhaps they haven't got and that this increases their depression mm. whereas the uh, the believers the way they are s the right mindset or outlook on on trials is that okay i'm going through a hardship and that's only one small stage of my life mm. and it will be over so these are the ones who pass the test and one of the things we have to keep in mind as we go through tests is that everything that happens, it happens according to the wisdom of Allah. So the bottom line of that is the wisdom of Allah. So Allah does not allow anything to happen except that He has a divine and profound wisdom behind that. Yeah, sometimes I, 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 I think, I mean, many of the, uh, I learned this myself, but, but I think many of the Muslims uh, maybe know it or don't, but something that you would think this is an this is an evil has touched me you know you think how could Allah put me in this situation and then when after a while when you deal with the test inshallah you deal with the test and then you see that the outcome and the way your life has taken you just can't believe it you know you you, you almost have to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because that, that, that's true you know this happens in life in, in every aspect of life let's say you go to a school and the school is very known for its, uh, for its uh, very um, let's say uh, they have a discipline there as they have a system and they discipline their children or their students very well and they have very strict uh, system for the, for the children mm. most of the children would complain why do we have to go through all this hardship? Why do they have to be very mm. strict with us? Why do we have to do all this training, all this mm. homework? But when these students graduate, when they mm. go to university, they will appreciate that strict system and they would be proud of it. Yeah, they would say, now we're gaining the fruits, now we're getting the fruits of that difficult mm. system that we had. To and of course, the, the, the flip side of that is when something good comes along and you know people are thinking, Oh great! You know, look what I've got. Look what I've done, or, or whatever it is. And then suddenly, they, when that's then taken away, uh, you know, they they crumble uh, again. So it's also there with the, with the good, isn't it? There's also the test there with the good things that Th come. That's true. The every test, every trial is meant to bring about good results. But if you maintain the right mindset, if you have wrong thoughts about Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, then the test will be against you. Because this goes down to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the divine hadith Ana abdi bi. I am to my servant as he thinks about me So if you have good thoughts about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala That Allah has wisdom behind this And Allah is merciful to me Even though I'm going through a hardship There's a good result that will come out from that Then inshallah you will get that good result But if you complain about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala And entertain bad thoughts about Negative thoughts mm -hmm. about Allah Then definitely you're leading yourself to destruction So this looks like a, to me a very important pillar of, of dealing with the test is 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 getting to know Allah and, and uh, understanding as much as we can as, as, as uh, mm, yes. yeah you know Abdullah the whole process of a test Allah is bringing the best out of you mm. is bringing it up mm. through trials subhanallah and 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 to deal with that trial the 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 arc there is is again the the, the knowledge of Allah and the knowledge of the Sunnah of the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and um, now just very briefly before we go to a break, Sheikh, um, what about if someone has a very easy time or very easy life? He looks like he's got a very easy life. Um, what does that mean? I mean, does that mean that he is not particularly close to Allah subhanahu wa taala? It doesn't have to be this way. B but what we generally say that, especially in in, in Islam, the Prophet sallallahu made it clear that uh, when Allah tests a person, this could be a sign that Allah loves him. Mm. Because tests always bring very good results. Mm -hmm. But if a person leads an easy life, it doesn't have to be that way. So mm. it, it doesn't work both ways. Mm. Uh, probably Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the limits of that person, so he doesn't want to put him under so much pressure mm -hmm. that would lead him astray. And what about those that say, oh, look, look how much Allah has given to me, he loves me? Yeah, obviously this is Allah referred to this in the Quran mm. in Surah Al, Al Fajr, and this is, uh, this is not the right view or the right way to look at it. Mm. SubhanAllah. Uh, we're going to go for a short break and um, we'll be back right after um, in just a minute. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
hopefully we'll discuss some, some tips on, on how to increase the, the ability of getting the du'a or the supplication answered. Allah delays giving you what you want and gives you a reward that is equal to that or better in this life or in the world to come. Uh, forgiving you your sins and giving you good deeds. I'm going to look at some questions that we've asked some of our brothers on the street. Uh, we asked them, should Muslims have a dialogue with other religions? We're going to need some stability. So, we, uh, it doesn't matter where we live, we need to care for those ones to give them the rights that Allah gives. This life is not the eternal life, it is a test. Particularly for the youth of today. So if there are any parents or uncles or whoever is watching, if you have 16, 17, 18, 20 year olds with you, make sure they stop doing whatever they're doing and come in and watch this show, inshallah. <laughs>